Hey guys, today we're going to look at a new lesson on factorizing an expression. So this lesson will be sort of um, an easy level. Um, so uh, I'm going to take you through four examples and show you exactly how to factorize an expression. Now let's look at question number one here. And uh, we've got x squared plus 2x. When you are factorizing an expression, the first thing I want you to do is look at numbers. Now in this case, we've got a 2. Yeah, and we also have a number here which you can't really see, but it does exist, and this number is a 1. Now, what I want you to remember is whenever you have a letter on its own, there's always a 1 in front of it. So, the next step is to ask yourself when you're factorizing what is the highest number that would go into 1 and 2? And if you know your multiplication table properly um, and your factors, then you know for a fact um, that the highest number that will go into 1 and 2 is 1. So write down the 1. Next, I want you to look at the letters. So here I've got x squared. And here I have an x. Now the trick is to figure out which letter has the lowest power. Now I know for a fact this one's got a power of 2. And that one's got, at the moment, nothing. But again, in algebra, whenever you've got a letter on its own, the power is always 1. So now we can see that the letter with the lowest power is x to the power of 1. So I'm going to take x to the power of 1 as my lowest factor. Now your next job is to start multiplying these factors that you just found with something here and something here in order to get back to your original answer. So the first question you're going to ask yourself is 1 times what will give you the 1 back? And we can say that it's 1 times 1 because 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Next you're going to ask yourself x to the power of 1 times what will give you x to the power of 2? Well you are missing the x to the power of 1 because x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 1 is x to the power of 2. I'm just going to write it here for you. So x times two. x1 times the power of x to the power of 1 is equal to x to the power of 2. Okay? So next, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check the same thing again with 1 times what will give you the 2 back. So it's 1 times 2, because 1 times 2 is equal to 2. And then x to the power of 1 times what gives you x to the power of 1. Now here, I already have what I want. Okay, I don't need to multiply by anything else, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And what you've done here is you have uh, just factorized. Now, what you can do to make this look better is tidy it up a little bit. And the way you're going to do this is by removing the ones in front of the letters and the powers. So, for instance, this one here we've got 1 times x to the power of 1. So instead of writing the 1, we don't really need to write it because x on its own means 1x. So we're going to write just x. And instead of writing the power of 1, we're not going to write the power of 1 because we don't really need it. And in algebra again, um, when you have a letter on its own, the power is 1, and the number in front of it is 1. Next, inside the bracket, I've got 1x to the power of 1. So again, I'm going to simplify this to just x. And this 2 will stay the same. So my final answer is x bracket x plus 2 goes away. Now let's take a look at question number 2. So here, uh, the difference between question number 1 is that there is a negative x squared. But the process is exactly the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and write down all these invisible numbers that exist just to sort of make my calculation easier. And again, if we do the same steps as before, what goes into what, minus 1 and 3? Well, the highest number that goes into 1 and 3 is 1. Uh, between x squared and x to the power of 1, which one's got the smallest power? It's this one here. So I'm going to use x to the power of 1 as my factor. Once I've found all my factors, I'm going to open up the brackets. And then I'm going to say 1 times what gives me minus 1. And in this case, it's going to be minus 1. 
and x to the power of 1 times what gives me x to the power of 2, so this one is going to be x to the power of 1, then plus 1 times what is equal to 3, it's 3, and x to the power of 1 times what gives you x to the power of 1 back. Here again, we don't need another x because we already have all of it. Now, the final step is to tidy, it up, tidy up your uh, expression your, that you just got. So I'm going to remove the ones. So it's here, I don't need the one x to the power one, I'm just going to write x. Then I'm going to open up my brackets. Here I've got minus one x to the power one. So I can just write it as minus x plus three. And then I'm going to close my bracket. And that's it. That's your question done. Okay, let's move on to something slightly more difficult, uh, where you have to find factors for numbers. Okay. And letters, and you've got um, you know something like a quadratic uh, expression. So again, here you've got three x squared plus five x. Again, I look at the three and the five, and I'm going to ask myself whether any number goes into three and five. I'm trying to find the factors for both of them. And in our case, there's none, so I'm going to leave this out. Then I look at um, x squared and x to the power of one. And obviously, x to the power of 1 has got the lowest power. So this will be our factor. Next, I'm going to ask myself, x to the power of 1 times what gives me 3x squared. So here we're missing the 3. And we are missing also an x to the power of 1. Next, I'm going to move on to the next uh, part x to the power of 1 times what gives me the 5 back, so I'm missing the 5. And then x to the power of 1 times what gives me the x to the power of 1 back, so here I'm not needing any more x's, so now I can close my bracket. And finally, I'm going to tidy it up with removing all the ones. I can write this as x bracket 3x plus 5 and close the bracket. And that's it for this question, it's done. All good. So next one. We have 6x squared plus 3x. Again, starting with the numbers, what goes into 6 and 3? And the largest number is 3. Then x squared and x to the power of 1. The smallest one is x to the power of 1. And I'm going to open up my brackets. 3 times 1 gives you 6 is 2 x to the power of 1 times what gives you x to the power of 2 is x to the power of 1 plus 3 times what is equal to 3 is 1 and x to the power of 1 times what gives you x to the power of 1 again and here we don't need any more x's and finally I'm going to tidy up again 3x I'm going to remove the power of 1 2x I'm going to remove the power of 1 plus 1 here now this one you don't remove it because um, it's not in front of a letter, okay? So it's just got to be very careful. And uh, that's it. Now, uh, if you want to extend this a little bit, we can look at another example here where instead of having a plus in the middle, we can have a minus. So um, let's say we had um, 10x cubed minus 6x squared um, plus x. Um, so this one here, you've got three terms rather than two, and you have a negative number. So how do we, do we deal with this? Exactly the same thing again. What goes into 10 minus 6 and 2? And the largest number that goes into 10, 6 and 2 is 2. Then you look at the letters, and you find out which one has the lowest power and here you can see that I've got x to the power of 3, x to the power of 2, and x to the power of 1. And the smallest one is x to the power of 1. So that will be my factors. Next, I'm going to say 2 times what gives you 10, so that's 5. Here I have x to the power of 1, but I need x to the power of 3, so I'm missing an x squared here. And if you add them together, it gives you x to the power of 3 back. Then 2 times what gives you minus 6. And here it has to be a minus 3, because 2 times minus 3 minus 6. 
then you will get the letters x to the power of 1 times what gives you x to the power of 2 so we just look at x to the power of 1 and then 2 times what gives you 2 so that's 2 times 1 and I've got x to the power of 1 and I want to get to x to the power of 1 so I don't need any more x in here so next I'm going to um, simplify the expression and just rewrite it in a neater way by removing powers to the power of 1 for instance so here I'm going to write 2x bracket 5x squared minus 3x and here the power of 1 I'm going to remove it plus 1 and this one we don't touch it because it doesn't belong to an x okay and there's your answer I hope you I hope you enjoyed this uh, video tutorial and it helped you um, in some ways and uh, I will see you in another video tutorial guys